The dark cabal, hurting us like sheep, is only able to maintain its power by staying invisible. The most effective way of maintaining invisibility is, and always has been, the art of dividing the masses. This psychological operation, known as divide and conquer, has been deployed for all of recorded history because it works, especially with organized religion, which is ruled by dogma rather than a personal relationship with God. Dogma is a belief doctrine dictated by a church, and if you were born into a dogmatic family, then you are raised to believe their dogma. As a result, you will see all conflicting religious dogma as evil. You will be divided and conquered. The main religions used to divide and conquer mankind are the three Abrahamic religions. Judaic dogma teaches the Jew that they are a member of the chosen race destined to rule over everyone else as a teacher of God's law. Islamic dogma teaches that all of mankind must somehow submit to Islam. And while there are reportedly 40,000 different denominations of Christianity, most Christian dogma teaches that Christians will live in paradise for eternity while everyone else burns in hell. Many people raised in these religions have been able to personally connect with God and liberate themselves from the device of dogma. But many others are stuck in group mind think. They conflate Holy Scripture and a priest class with God and put their faith in a doctrine written by man. It has become the most powerful form of mind control. And so whoever controls the Holy Land controls the world. In Revelation 2.9 of the King James Bible, it warns of the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. We are beginning to see this today with the Zionists who say they are Jews and are not. With the help of the United Nations, the British Crown, the Vatican, the Nazis, and the Rothschild banking dynasty, the land formerly known as Palestine was conquered with bloodshed, lies, and bureaucracy. The Zionists, who claimed to be secular, declared the land to be Israel, home of the Jews, and successfully thrust the once thriving Middle East back into the Middle Ages. The relatively peaceful region was soon transformed into an unending war zone. Decades of U.S. war crimes radicalized many of the Muslim population into becoming terrorists. The creation of the State of Israel in 1948 would have never been successful if it were not for the Jewish Holocaust. Even though the Palestinians had nothing to do with it, the Holocaust was effectively used as an emotional excuse for what would otherwise be an illegal land grab. And while few deny that Hitler was murdering Jews, many have pointed out that six million would have been logistically impossible. So why the number six million? For several decades preceding World War II, the Zionists repeated the mantra, six million, referring to the death of six million Jews. A six followed by six zeros can also be read as 66, which can be read as two thirds. Certain radical sects of Judaism and Christianity believe that two thirds of the Jews must perish. It appears as if the Zionists created Israel as a sacrificial altar to make this happen, repeating the lesser magic mantra of what they want to make manifest. Today we are seeing Zionists begging for genocide, calling out to kill them all, and gaslighting us into thinking there never was a Palestine, while saying we should flatten it and turn it into glass. We are seeing Christian pastors cheer for mass murder, pastors saying that Israel should make the Gaza Strip a parking lot, and several evangelical pastors who speak as if Christ will only return if we provide him the blood sacrifice taught in their extreme dogma. As Israel pushes forward, radicalized young Muslim men who have had their homes destroyed by American bombs are now spread throughout Western nations. The stage is set for the Holy War, and many are willing to murder in the name of their dogmatic beliefs. Extremists of all three religions are being used by the hidden hand to foment this war, while the Catholic Church has been making preparations for a one-world religion solution. Divided, we will be conquered, but united, we could learn to live as one, in peace. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.